Hi everyone. So welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Shrinivas. So in this session, as we are going to discuss one interview question in Core Java. So that is, so why it is allowed to handle a child type exception uh, into parent type class exception class? Okay. C. The question: How can we handle the child type exception using its parent class? So reference variable more clearly. Reference variables. So why it is allowed? First of all, right using one program, I'll explain this clearly. See, for example, in the in the try block, so I'll write a simple logic like a int x is equals to ten by zero. So directly I'm writing hard coding, of course. So chance of getting arithmetic exception. So in the catch block, in the catch block. So we are collecting that exception object into a variable of type arithmetic exception, and here it is. We are handling any logic we are writing here. So, but now simply, simply here we are writing the logic. Any logic, as a divided by zero error anything, and not only arithmetic exception, right? So with the help of it's a parent type also you can handle. So hierarchy I'll explain to understand hierarchy. Suppose this is exception class, and here it is runtime exception class is there, and some of the examples here arithmetic exception, number format exception, null pointer exception, and so many. All these are comes under unchecked exceptions. We know that. So here, so whenever we need to handle arithmetic exception, either we use arithmetic exception, or so what is the Parent class of arithmetic exception is a runtime exception. So here, we use runtime exception to handle. And next, so what is the parent class of runtime exception? Is exception. So we can give so this exception to handle. And next, sir, what is the super class of exception? Is a throwable. So we know that hierarchy of exceptions. So that here we can give a throwable also. Okay, here. So now, so if you want to handle arithmetic exception, either we use arithmetic exception, or we use runtime exception, or exception, or throwable. Sir, why it is allowed? So why it is allowed means, see here. So whenever uh, means what a chance of getting arithmetic exception, we know that runtime polymorphism concept. So what is that runtime polymorphism? Accessing a child object functionality. Right, using a parent type reference variable. Address is a parent type, and functionality is a child functionality. So here it is a child functionality, and suppose if you give exception, exception means what? So runtime polymorphism it will bind all these classes in the hierarchy. It will bind all these classes. So here it is. We are not using arithmetic exception. We are not using runtime exception. I want to handle. By using exception class, then what happens? What happens means a compiler thinking that the person want to handle an exception. So which exception? That compiler cannot understand because so many exception types are there. So runtime exception, arithmetic exception, number format exception, null pointer exception, any exception it will be, any exception. So directly at compile time it will it will means what? It will it will bind up with all the classes in the hierarchy. So at runtime, whenever exception has raised, then so using runtime binding concept, then JVM will check. Suppose here it is arithmetic exception. So in this hierarchy, arithmetic exception is there or not? Yes, arithmetic exception is there. So then it will be connected with this. It will be connected with this. So this is how can we handle child type exception using its a parent type reference variable? Simple answer is just because of a runtime polymorphism concept, runtime binding concept. A runtime binding means after creating object for the child class, you can collect the address into its a parent type or grandparent type or any other type in the hierarchy. Okay, so that is. Hope you understood well. For more videos, please subscribe to Narayan Shetty channel. Thank you.